So it's the end of day one of the Octopus Cozy 9 heat pump install. If you've not watched my intro video yet explaining the whole concept in the series, then the link for that is in the video description. But they turned up at about quarter to nine this morning and we're here till half past four. So really good day's work and a lot has happened. As you can see, the heat pump is there behind me and it's absolutely massive. I couldn't believe how, how big it was when it arrived. I knew it was gonna be a bit big, but it's definitely bigger than I thought it would be. So the, the heat pump was the first thing to arrive along with all the lagging and the pipe work and all the rest of that. And then uh, several people turned up, introduced themselves, Tom with the plan for the next few days. And I showed them around the house, uh, up to the boiler cupboard, the hot water cylinder and things like that. They put uh, carpet protection down in my house, which was uh, very much appreciated because they'll be traipsing all the way up into the converted loft bedroom up there. After that, the scaffolders arrived and put up this scaffolding tower so that they can get to the top of the side of my house for the pipe work and electrical cabling in there. While the scaffolding was going up, the electrician got to work installing the new distribution board for the heat pump, which fortunately fits inside my electrical cupboard there, so that's nice and neat. That did involve the electricity being turned off for about half an hour or so, but it gave me a chance to stretch my legs, get up away from my desk and have a little break from work. And he's run the cable in under my insulation there. So again, that's nice and neat outside. So you'll hardly notice it around that side of the house. Then in the afternoon, the team installed the pipe work here and the trunking up the side of the house and bored out the holes there for the flow and return pipes to go from the heat pump and into the house. It's being fitted with black trunking around the flow and return pipes, as you can see. I did ask if there was white trunking available because that would obviously look a lot better on my house, but I was told, unfortunately, it wasn't available. So I'll have to get my paintbrush out afterwards and uh, paint that, I think, so it will blend in a little bit more. Don't forget, if you want to get your own heat pump or solar panel system installed from Octopus, you can get £100 off your installation by using my referral code, which is on your screen now and also in the video description. And you don't have to be with Octopus Energy to have them install a heat pump or solar panels. But if you want to switch to Octopus Energy for your electricity and or gas supply, I'd highly recommend them. And if you use my referral link for that, which is in the video description, then we'll split £100 together. You'll get £50 and I'll get £50. So that's a wrap for day one. Lots happened today, really good day of progress. And tomorrow they'll carry on with all the pipe work and electrical work. Click the video on screen to watch day two now.